Um, hi. If Israel is justified in killing civilians because of the acts of terror committed by Hamas, why isn't Hamas justified in doing what it did? Because Israel is keeping 13,000 children. It has tried them in military courts. Since the establishment of Israel, 55,000 Palestinian homes have been bulldozed. So why isn't Hamas justified in doing what it did, if we use your logic? Um, well, so I'm going to answer your question, then I'm going to ask you a question if you don't mind. Is that all right? So, the, the, so my answer is that Israel would not be justified in killing Palestinian civilians because of the actions of terrorists. Israel would be justified in attempting to kill terrorists, and civilian casualties are a cost of war. That is just a reality of life. During World War II, there were 70,000 Brits who died during the Blitz bombing, and there were 2 million Germans who died, civilians, who died during World War II. And I don't see a lot of monuments in Britain because of the 2 million civilians who died in Germany. The costs of war are brutal. They're terrible. They're horrifying. There's a vast difference in moral scope between deliberately going into a civilian area and murdering everyone you can find and trying to kill a terrorist who is deliberately hiding beneath a civilian area, hiding their rockets in civilian areas, starving their own people. There is a vast difference. Okay, so let me, now I get to ask my question, if you don't mind. So my question is, do you believe that there is a moral difference between Hamas going into, for example, Kfar Aza and murdering entire families and Israel attempting to target terrorists and accidentally hitting civilians. Israel is effectively doing the same because Gaza is the most densely populated region in the world. There are 15,000 people per square mile. So does Hamas get immunity because the they're there? So Hamas gets immunity. Israel, so if you, Israel has killed 3,500 children in the past three weeks. That's so, more children. That's more children than have died so, in conflicts around the world in each of the last so, four so just, years. So just to be clear, your logic is that if you're a terrorist group located in a densely populated community and you hide behind civilians, you're now immune. Where are the children meant to go? So you're immune. Okay. That's Where a violation of the go? Geneva Conventions, but okay. You're, you're 20, now immune. Your no, logic is that if you're a Hamas terrorist... Sorry, sorry, since 2005, 23 out of every 24 conflict deaths have been Palestinian. I don't see any moral equivalency there. It's clearly unjust what the IDF has been doing to the Palestinians because there's a vast disparity between the number of Palestinians being killed and the number of Israelis. I mean, I would the certainly hope that Israel is, is killing more Hamas This isn't members. a conflict. I've... This isn't a conflict. This is one-sided ethnic okay, cleansing. So, again, I'm just asking you, if based on the numbers, more Germans died than Brits in World War II, did that mean that British, the British were wrong in World War II? Because they did. Many more Germans died than Brits. Based I... on the numbers, does that mean that Britain was wrong in World War II? Britain wasn't bombing civilian, civilians. There's a clear you, you difference. Should, you, should talk to, you should talk to the people in Dresden, but there's you can't because they're dead. There's a clear difference. Well, I agree that war is horrible, but this is not a just war. What Israel is doing is not a just war. There is a difference between Wait, fighting oh, the Nazis. So it is, so it is not there's a, a just war. To, it, fighting the Nazis. It is, not, it, is not, it is not a just war when you fight a war against people who murder 1,500 of your civilians and take 233 of them, at last count, captive into tunnels. It is not a just war to obliterate them. Please Isra name a just war. Israel's been killing civilians for the past 75 years. And there was no headlines about it, and there was, nobody said that the Palestinians were Israel justified in Israel does not purposefully kill civilians. Palestinian terrorists do. Israel has if, not purposefully killed civilians. Are you willing tomorrow, to stand by a, that statement? If Israel put down its guns tomorrow, there would be a second Holocaust. If the Palestinians put down their guns tomorrow, there would be a Palestinian state. That is the reality. And let me ask there you this. There would not be a Palestinian I mean, settlement. Last, I'm going to ask you, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm going I'm to ask you this. I'm just going to ask you the last question, the same question I asked her. Which part of Palestine is occupied? The entirety of Palestine, but there we go. I'm not Thank you once again. for the destruction of Jews. I appreciate, I appreciate you expressing your full genocidal intent what? for the Jewish people living between the rivers. Why is it genocidal to call for a state that is not apartheid? You can have a state where all citizens have equal rights, Jews and Muslims. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that's going to go that's amazingly. That's not genocidal. Under the, uh, under the same people who are governing the Gaza Strip, where currently oh, no. zero can Jews can live. The time. Can we move on to the next uh, question, please? Um, that's the...